Hello. It's good to see you. Today we are going on a thrift anista tour. Um, and this is a thing that they're doing at Goodwill. I'm, I've never been to one of these before. Um, I think they've done them before, but I've never been to one. And they, they have these little these little papers in the stores around here and it says that select stores will be loaded with a specially curated collection of fashionable clothing, shoes, purses, and jewelry. So, and then they have, they actually have tour dates like they're rock stars or something. Personally, for me, it's a thrift and Easter tour pretty much every time I go in there because I come out with all kinds of cool stuff. Um, I'm a little skeptical about this. But first of all, yeah, they have the little tour dates on the back. It looks like the next tour stop. And I just wonder, do they add new stuff to these uh, little pop-up thingies? Or is it just all picked over after a while? I'm sure they have new stuff. So today, November 18th, they're going to be at the Samet Drive Goodwill on high, in High Point. So we're going to go there. And that's actually one of my favorite Goodwills to go to. I find really good stuff there. The next one is going to be on December 16th at Deerfield Trace in Mebane. And then on January 20th, they're going to be at the Battleground store back here in Greensboro. And I have to say, the Battleground Goodwill, I never used to find anything good there. I, I quit going. Well, I started going again not too long ago, and I always find good stuff now. So I'm not really sure what happened, but they have much better stuff than they used to. So, okay, so every now and then our Goodwills do stuff like this. The last thing I went to, they had, they did a thing like this where they did a tour and it was, I think it was called the truckload event or something like that. And they said that there was going to be, you know, just like a big truck full of stuff, you know, and I was expecting something awesome. So I went to it when uh, it was at one of these locations, I went to it. And all it was, um, if you've been in the Goodwills, I don't know how they are where, you know, if you have Goodwill where you are, but around here, up near the front at the registers, they have these sections of new stuff and it's, it's just like, it's kind of like stuff you'd find at Dollar Tree. You know, it might be a set of measuring spoons or, um, spatulas or, you know, dog treats. It's just like random stuff and most of it's about $1.59. The truckload sale, all it was was a lot of that kind of stuff. That's all it was. I didn't buy anything. I walked in and it was just loads and loads of that kind of stuff. I didn't buy anything at all. I just left. I was very disappointed. Like I came all the way out here and that's that's it. That's all you got. So I didn't get anything. So I'm kind of wondering, I'm thinking this probably won't be like that. Um, Specially, it's a specially curated collection of clothing, shoes, purses, and jewelry. Um, it's a Willows special event, which Willows is Goodwill's little brand for certain stuff like um, jewelry and things like that, and some purses and accessories and things. But while I was getting ready to make this little video for y'all, this email. I, I'm on their email list because I'm a, a dork or something, but I, I get their emails. And so it's reminding me that the Thrift and Easter Tour is today. Um, and it also says, <laughs> calling all Thrift Tanistas. Join us for our 2021-2022 Thrift and Easter Tour. We'll pack our stores with name brand, designer brand, vintage and exclusive items including including clothes shoes accessories and more all at triad goodwill's low prices oh and did we mention there will be food trucks they're actually gonna have food trucks that's crazy looks like mama crockett's cider donuts will be there and brick city kitchen with jersey inspired lunch bites now, they don't open until 10 o'clock this morning. It's a little early. Um, I'm going to head on up there, though, because I'm curious. I want to I get there kind of early. I'm not really worried about the food trucks. I'm not really interested in that. Um, I want to get there kind of early to see what sort of stuff they have. Now, I, I don't know what to expect. We're going to go into it together. 
It's probably going to be loud, mainly because they play loud music, so I'm probably going to have to do a voiceover uh, just for copyright issues and the fact that there may be a lot of people there and it would be noisy anyway. I don't know. But if we buy anything, if I do buy anything, I will, uh, I will add that to this video. We'll do a little show and tell of the stuff. So let's go check out the Thrift Nista tour. Okay, we are inside now and we have these circular racks of random clothes. It looks like here's some men's suit jackets from Joseph A. Bank. No, these are like coats actually. Yeah, and then there's a little display of purses here. They're very nice, but in my opinion, they were a bit overpriced. And they have stuff like that from time to time normally. Here's a rack of some stuff. It's different brands, so you see it, it's not like a whole rack of particular brands. Like that cute little dress. Ooh, a shiny silver dress. That's pretty. Look at this. This is a jacket. Look how it's made. It's That's really cool. That's a jacket. Um, there wasn't a lot, honestly. Here we have a round rack of men's jeans. These are $14.99 for some Roca Wear jeans that look dirty. Uh, some men's Lucky Brand jeans. These are women's pants here. That's a new pair. And they have some shoes. Look at these little kids boots. Those are cute. And some little winter boots. Um, these are shorts. And you see they have the Willows tag. That's a, a Goodwill thing. Some more. Some of, a lot of this stuff is new with tags. Um, here's a pair of Skechers. These are nice. Um, yeah, those are a little too big for me, but they're cool. Ladies' blazers and jackets. I like that guest coat. That red coat's cute. Yeah, it's just random uh, skirts and shorts and jeans and pants here. And then we, um, come around. Here you can see the purses again. Now this looks like it's two bags that you get together. I, they are very cute, but they're $60 for the two. <laughs> Seriously? I mean, they're cute, but, you know, I don't know. And that, that's basically it. This is stuff that they normally have. Um, looks like they do have a bunch of uh, men's shoes up here, but that's not unusual. I mean, you see that anyway. They always have something like that up there. This is different. I guess this is the men's section of the, the Thrift Denista tour. This one little round rack with random stuff on it. Um, yeah, there's a lot of new stuff here. And I guess for new items, the prices aren't too bad. We have some Adidas shorts. I think they were all 3XL shorts. Those were $14.99 per pair. I didn't see anything on this rack that I thought my kids could use. Um, no, not really. <laughs> Nothing that I thought they would be interested in. Um, this is a rack they have this time of year regularly. We have some little doggy toys for Christmas, a little stocking. And we have some cute little stockings here. I like this white one with the snowflakes on it. That's pretty. And the green one is pretty too. Yeah, that's normally here. A little hat and a pretty Christmas tree skirt. But that's pretty. That's not part of the Thrift Denista thing. And we have some little ornaments. I have a holly jolly Christmas. This was $1.59 for this little thing. You can also get Christmas ribbon. So it says ho 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 or oh oh oh. These are bells. These were made out of metal. Very cute. 
You can also get records in here. There's always a nice selection of albums in here. You can get cassette tapes too, like How Sweet It Is, Sugar Boats cassette. Those are 49 cents each. And yeah, so the, they have cassettes too and CDs. These are all CDs, audio books. Sometimes you find those. Jesus back there looking like he's concentrating on something. Um, and this is just regular merchandise that we're looking at now. This is stuff that they always have. Here we have a table where you can enter to win. I wasn't sure what it was at first. You can enter to win a $50 Goodwill gift card. I forgot to do that. I, I didn't. And we have jewelry, but they have this stuff all the time. That's a pretty bracelet and a nice rhinestone necklace, a ring, that's nice. This is the Terramanda jewelry. This is part of that thing, and it's been like that for several weeks. This is a pretty necklace, I like that. It's very pretty. Yeah, so, look at all the jeans, my gosh, that's not part of the Thriftinista. This is Thriftinista stuff. Um, women's jeans and skirts. I didn't get any of that stuff. It's a cute skirt. I like that. I wasn't sure at first if this was part of it, but it actually was. It's uh, dresses and stuff. I love that. That was a um, a top. Isn't that cool? I love the sleeves with the rhinestones on them. That's so pretty. And here we have some more pants and shorts for women. I love their little shelves with all the decorations on them for Christmas. <laughs> They're all over the store. I never looked at them before today. That's a pretty sweater. So there wasn't, it was extremely crowded over there. It was kind of hard to look at things. I thought that purse was cute. That was $5.99. And this was a Nine West purse that was $9.99. It's brand new. That I thought was kind of ugly. I didn't like that design. <laughs> yeah. But look, you can get a spiffy pink and purple windbreaker for $12.99. It's very cool. And this is a either a, an extremely short dress or a long shirt. And then look at all these shoes. They brought out this big rolly cart of shoes and this one man bought like half of them. He just cleaned it out. Okay, I got bored with the Thrift Anista stuff and I came over to the regular aisle. It's looking very junky today. There's a lot of stuff on it. You can always find a lot of punch bowls at Goodwill. They're always there. You can even find a maraca sometimes. I found a maraca. <laughs> and I found a delightful little teapot. It's actually really cute. You don't see teapots in there very much. And there are always tons of reusable water bottles and coffee mugs and things. Oh, and here's where I found some weights, these six pound weights. I did get those. I, I'm, I was very excited when I saw those because I had been looking for some like that. Oh, and then I found a five pound weight. I left that one there. I didn't need that one. I found some smaller ones too. Oh, I went and got a card and here we have the weights. So I didn't want anyone else to get them. So I went and got a card. I didn't feel like carrying them around. You can even get a hole puncher from Office Depot or a coin bank kit from Lowe's that you could build yourself. Or you can get a bag of dried stuff. I really love this platter. Look at that pretty. I love stuff like that. This one looks like metal, but it was actually plastic. 
You can get a little skateboard. <laughs> it's really cute. See here, I found some two pound weights, but I'll leave them there for somebody else. God, weights are so expensive anymore. Lots of, it, normally this aisle does not look this disheveled. I don't know what was going on over there. It normally looks a lot better. Um, and you have electronics. You could get an instant camera from Kodak EK4. A crock pot. And this was a Color Tunes uh, Bluetooth speaker. You can get DVD players and VHS players. I hate this aisle because it's so, it's hard to get down this aisle. It's very narrow. Look at the little sparkly bear. I liked this dude. I came back and looked at him. I almost bought him. He just has a lot of character. I had to move my cart so I could look at stuff. Here's a little monkey. It's a toothbrush holder. A little ceramic. This, I think this is a bookend. It's really cute. It's like Eeyore or somebody reading a book. Here's a little thing. <laughs> I don't know what that is. And we have some pretty candle holders with candles in them. All kinds of glassware. It, you could find just about anything in here. I don't know what I was doing with my fingers right there. <laughs> oh, these are cute little little saucers. Very pretty. You can find vintage stuff in here, like vintage uh, plates and stuff. A little set of cups. Oh, those are cute. I like the teddy bear cookie jar. Yeah, so you can find sets of dishes and things. I mean, it's a great place if you need some glasses like these sets or any any kind of dishes. You can get them really cheap in a place like this. It's wonderful. That was a pretty little bowl. It was like paper mache or something. And here's a man in a tray. I stood him back up. Just a whole bunch of stuff. Lots and lots and lots of stuff to look at. Oh, it's Australia. <laughs> I, kept, I came back to the man. He was $2.99. I almost bought him. I thought he was very interesting. I don't know where I put him, though. Here we have a nurse. So you can find all kinds of little decorative things in here. You know, just interesting little knickknacks. Angel. And then, I thought this was really cool. I kind of liked it. I, I almost got that too. I thought it was neat. It's very interesting looking. And it was only 99 cents. I probably should have gotten it, but I, I don't need any more stuff like that. And look at this little fish. You can put a candle in there. It's really neat looking. If you look around, you can find all kinds of stuff. German dancers, bush gardens. You just never know what you're going to find in there. It could be anything. This was a Noritake bowl. Uh, lilac thyme Noritake. That's beautiful. That's a very nice piece right there. I think I was waiting for someone to go behind me. <laughs> it's a tight squeeze over there because of the way it's, you know, it's just a tight fit to get through there. You can find all kinds of furniture in here. Chairs. That's a nice, it was a a leather chair. And here, look at this bench. It's a little bunny bench. You have a carrot and like a little bunny rabbit thing. It was some, what was that, $15 for the little bench. It's very cute. I wish I could have gotten this dollhouse for the, the angel tree girls. It was $30. Look at that awesome thing. But I don't know who they are and I have no way to get it to them. And I don't know if they their parents want one that big. 
You can get glasses with chalkboards on them. An Oktoberfest stein. And rugs, but they have these all the time. You can get different types of area rugs. Yeah, so it was really crowded around the Thrift Anista section, but... And I saw people buying a lot of stuff, but personally, I didn't really see much. I only bought one thing. I bought a hoodie, which I will show to you in a bit. I didn't really see anything else that I wanted. It was underwhelming, to be honest. It was just kind of... I don't know. So I just went to look at regular stuff. We're just back in the regular parts of the store now. Look at all these shoes. I like these boots right here. Those are neat. I have a pair similar to those. Um, these are women's skirts here. Yeah. But somebody stuck some Lycra Capri pants in here. These are not supposed to be here. These are, <laughs> these don't go there. But I, I'm pulling them out, looking at them, trying to decide if I want them or not. But I I already have some that look a lot like those, so I didn't bother to look into them any further. Um, I couldn't tell what size they were either. So, over here you have women's pajama pants. Oh, those are cute. Are those submarines? They look like submarines. <laughs> oh, these are cute with the floral print. I like those. Those are neat. Um, and here you have like um, boxer shorts or women's sleep shorts. I like the paisley print. Those are really pretty. Um, oh look, here's another little thing. They put stuff on the, the shelves up there for Christmas. I never look up there. Here we have some more lycra pants. That's, I buy tons of these to work out in. That's where most of my workout wear comes from, is stores like this. I don't need any. I don't have any idea why I'm looking at it. Oh, look at the little ghosts. Yeah, I don't know. I need to quit looking because I don't need any more. I have tons of them. Oh, check out the cowboy boots. These are cute. Very cute little boots. I still got my cart. Still got. I haven't gotten anything yet, but the weights. Look at these knobby shoes. They have spikes all over them. These little flats. <laughs> I'd probably hurt myself if I wore those. Lots of shoes. I have a pair just like these. They're sort of a champagne color. I almost got these. Because they were just like these, and they're very, very comfortable, but... And they were my size, but yeah, I, I left them there. I, I don't need any more shoes. Those are cute with the tassels. And over here we have more shoes. These little sneakers are cute. It's an interesting color combination on these shoes. These are from Time and True. A thick soled tennis shoe. More shorts. Um, they organize things in most sections by size and color. That's a cute little purse right there. Most of the Thriftinista purses were, you know, twenty dollars and up, but they're no cuter than the ones you can get over here for five bucks. Most of these bags over here are five to six dollars. I like the colorful striped purse. This is a fabric purse. Oh, the sticker stuck to me. <laughs> and then I thought this shirt was super cute. I love the yellow tie-dye shirt. I ended up getting that actually. I put it back and then I thought about it again. <laughs> And I'm looking at it, and I decided to get it, so I put it in my cart, and I did get that. Over here we have some scarves from Sarah. That these are Aldi scarves, 
an infinity scarf, but you could get them at Goodwill for $3.99 instead of whatever they were at Aldi. And these are, there's another shelf with Christmas stuff on it. It's actually really cute. And these are dresses. Whoop, I come back to it. This is a cute little bag. I love the handles on this bag. They are plastic multifaceted beads. And this green one looks like it was made out of a couch upholstery from the 70s. But it's actually very charming. I like it. And here we have a cute black and white striped tank top from Chico's. I like it. Over here we have ladies' jackets and vests. That's a cute little vest. Um, and they're $5.99 for jackets and blazers. Anything that's waist length and has a zipper or an opening is going to be $5.99. Unless otherwise marked. I have bought so many jackets. Oh, I'm showing you that my card is okay. It's right there. Nobody's messing with it. Um, yeah, nobody messes. Well, you kind of have to watch your card in Goodwill because sometimes people will look through it. That's a cute jacket. It's actually super cute. <laughs> I bought so many hoodies and jackets in this store. Oh my goodness. And here's an, here's an interesting little jacket. Look at that. It's quite colorful with all its jewel tones. Here we have, these are just plain tops and jackets. Here's a fun little purple coat. Looks very warm. I love this cardigan right here. This is so pretty with the blue and the brown. That's so pretty. I didn't get it. No, I did not. Here is a Centos uh, coat from Mayola, you know, the dairy somebody's work coat. This is a fabulous green shimmery jacket. I love the colors of that, the color of that jacket. Yeah, I, they have tons of different types of hoodies. Like, I have a bunch like this one. This one is a little short, but I, I have tons of those to work out in. Pretty dresses in yellow over here. I love, I love the pattern of this one. It's so pretty. It looks like something, looks like, the, looks like the curtains from The Price is Right in the 70s. I like it. I'm going to put it back in there the right way. Ooh, look at the stripes on that dress. Oh, that's a, an especially sparkly one. I like that with the gold and that kind of a, a coral color. That's pretty. And another shelf with uh, Christmas stuff on it. I'm drawn to these striped things like this dress right here. That's pretty. It's very cute. And look, it goes all the way down. Those are all dresses that go all the way down. Ooh, look at that. So sparkly. I'm going this way because it's the path of least resistance. There aren't as many people over here. <laughs> Most of the people were around the Thrift Anista stuff and not over here. That's a cute hoodie. That's cute. Ooh, look at that yellow and black. I like that. That's a cute jacket. And we have women's shoes over here. Oh, these are neat little tie-dye slip-on shoes. I like them. It was some brand I had never heard of, but they're really cute. Those are too. Oh, look at these wedge heels. So colorful. Women's sweaters and hoodies. That's a cute hoodie. I like that one. Ooh, 
some bright yellow kangaroos shoes and these are women's uh, two and three piece sets this one comes with a tank top and a matching skirt a very fun flowy summertime looking outfit another shelf with the Christmas or winter stuff on it I really like these little high heel boots over here those are cute it's like tapestry upholstery or up uppers tapestry uppers here is a two-piece outfit you have a knit skirt and a knit top Um, these are more women's sweaters and sweatshirts. I really liked this Outer Banks sweatshirt. I almost got it, but I have too many sweatshirts. <laughs> so it's really cute, but I put it back. I have too much stuff. So they try to they organize things by color and size. So it really helps if you're looking for a certain size and color of something. It's not perfect though. Sometimes things are not organized properly, but they they try. So yeah, this is um these are all women's sweaters over here. This one's cute. Look at that pretty floral pattern for this cardigan. So much neat stuff in here. Oh, I like these heels too. This is another wedge heel. It has a nice print on it. I'm not going to forget my card. <laughs> Take it with me. I'm trying to park it out of the way. <laughs> Look at this striped top. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love it. That is so much fun right there. And women's shorts. I've bought a lot of shorts in Goodwill to work out in. Because you find stuff like this all day long. You can find shorts in here. Any, any type you want, you can find them. I have a lot of shorts like these. I have a bunch of those. <laughs> and they're cheap, so it's hard to say no when you see a pair you like. They're not much. With my discount, they're about $4 a pair. And this is a cute little purple and yellow pair. Yeah, I have a bunch of those. <laughs> and more shoes. I like these sandals. They're so sparkly. Oh, these kind of have a giraffe print to them. And look at that wedge. Always fun stuff to look at in Goodwill. I am back from my tour of the Goodwill during Fashionista Day. I have to say, overall, it was a disappointment. Um, really, you know, as you saw in the video, all they had set up were just a few little round, little round racks that are not normally there. And so they had some random clothing items and some shoes and some jewelry which they have that jewelry all the time so they just had a little bit more than normal I, I really didn't think it was any big deal at all um, so I know I will say I saw people there buying tons of this fashionista stuff thriftinista whatever I saw I did see some people buying a whole bunch of it there was this one man in there and they brought out this you know that wheeling rack of shoes he went through that rack and took like half of them. He got an entire cart full of shoes. Um, maybe he's donating them to a nonprofit or something. I don't know because they were all different sizes. That's really cool if that's what he was doing. But um, overall, I didn't really get a whole lot. I got one thing from the Thriftinista tour, and that was this hoodie right here. I thought this was cool. It has a dark print to it. As you can see, it kind of has a, um, a dark teal blue background. And it's kind of an abstract floral pattern to it. It's like leaves. 
this is, and it's a nice thin hoodie. This is a North Face hoodie. Um, it was $12.99. But I love these for working out outside um, on a cold day. I will wear this with the tank top under it and then probably another jacket over top of it. You know, that way if I get warm, I can take the jacket off and I'll probably just leave this on. But it's a nice length and everything. Oh, it even has, it has pockets that zip and it has a little concealed zipper. It is flash dry. So I guess it dries really fast. Um, that was the only thing I got from the Thrift Anista section of Goodwill today. As you saw in the video, I did pick up this cool little yellow tie-dyed shirt. That's the front right there. It has a little it has a little gather in the front. I thought this would be a cute little thing to wear. I got it for going for working out, honestly. I thought this would be a, a cute little thing to wear. It's a little different from what I normally wear. I like to keep my selections nice and fresh. So I thought this was a cute little uh, shirt. It's made by Heart Hips, and it's just this really pretty yellow tie-dye. So that's basically just for my uh, exercise classes. Then I found this really super cool blouse, and this was not part of the Thrift Anista thing. This was just part of their regular stock. I'm trying to find the front. <laughs> That's the back. Look at the back. The back is this really cool, it's like a really cool lace. They make a nice, look at it, <laughs> make a cool veil. This is made by Bongo. Here's the front. Now it kind of scoops way down low in the front, but I have so many different uh, sleeveless tops that I could wear under this. I'd probably go with just a plain black tank top or something under it. But it's just, it's just super cute. Look, look at that pretty design on there. I thought this was really pretty. It's beautiful. And it has three quarter length sleeves. And again, you have that really pretty lace that just goes all the way down the back. I thought that was really, really cool. So that was all I got clothing wise. Um, I did get the six pound weights. I'm really glad I went just for those free weights because I've been looking for some and the price on them has gone up so much um, at Walmart. If you can even find them, a lot of times they don't even have any weights. I don't think they even have a six pound weight there. But the price on free weights everywhere has just gone through the roof. So I was really happy to get those and um, she ended up charging me only $3.99 for the two instead of $3.99 each. So I got both of them for $4, which is awesome. So I'm looking forward to using those. I want to, I want, I, I've been using the five pound weights for pretty much everything. I want to bump it up a little bit to six and then maybe seven, you know, gradually. I have shoulder issues, so I have to be a little careful with that. But um, every now and then I, I get a kink, especially in this shoulder for some reason, and it, so if I do it slowly, I think I'll be okay. And this is this was kind of a this is gonna be like a little gag gift. I found this Pepsi mug. It's a little insulated plastic mug. I'm giving this to my older son. I might put it in his stocking or something. It's just a little joke gift because he loves Pepsi as much as I do. And it's a great big Pepsi mug, so I thought I thought he would like something like that. This was only 99 cents. And it has Pepsi on the Pepsi logo on both sides. It did not come with a lid, but that's okay. You'd mainly just use it here at home anyway. So I thought that was cute. Um, I was in that I was in that Goodwill a few days ago, and I saw it in there then. And I started to get it then, but I did not, and it was still there. So I got it today. And then up by the registers, you know, I was telling you about the truckload sale that they did. Um, the price tags see this is a little white price tag the truckload sale just had a lot of random stuff and a lot of it was a dollar 59 or two for three dollars i got a bird decoration and it even tells you at the top 
that it's a bird decoration. In case you don't know, it's right there. I'm doing one of my Christmas trees in red and gold this year. I got a little red bird and a little gold bird. Isn't it pretty? There are little pearls on the tail and lots of glitter and it's, they're very sparkly. <laughs> they have a little roach clip. You got your little marijuana clip on their, on their butts on the underside so you can clip them onto the tree. These are two for three dollars. And they also have other stuff like little sets of toothbrushes and floss and just, you know, basic items. And most of them are $1.59 or two for $3. Um, but these were up by the register and I just thought these were really cute. So I just got one of each for my tree. I don't really need any more ornaments. I already have a ton of red and gold stuff. So, but I thought those were really cute. And that's all I got. And that's it. I left my weights in the car because I didn't see any reason to bring them in the house. I just left them in the car. I have I have a lovely collection of weights in the car. Um, I take I take some of them out from time to time. If I'm not going to be doing a, a specific thing for a while, I will leave some of them in the house so I don't have that excess weight riding around in the car. But uh, I'm probably going to take the fives out for a bit and just use the sixes. But that is everything. Thank you so much for watching and for going with me to the Thrift Anista Tour Stop at Goodwill. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you again soon.